Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Welcome to Confession Cam, the place where we spill all the latest gossip and rumors swirling around the world of American Idol today. We're diving into the juicy details of who might replace Katy Perry as a judge on the show. Stay tuned to find out if former contestants Ruben Studdard and Clay Aiken are set to take on this exciting new role. Let's spill the tea. Dim the lights. Ruben Studdard and Clay Aiken have an American Idol pitch. As Katy Perry prepares for her final episodes on the reality competition show, the season two alums are throwing their hats in the ring to replace her at the judges' table. I would love it if they called me Ruben who won season two of Idol, recently told Confession Cam during a joint interview with Clay. But I think that in any way that I can go back and give advice to the young people that are going through the show, I do that readily and I'm thankful for the opportunity to do that at a time. Clay, who was the runner-up in 2003, also expressed interest in sitting alongside Lionel Richie and Luke Bryan, and he even teased what kind of judge he would be. I would be tough, he shared, crediting his son Parker. I got a teenager now. However, as Clay explained, there is a difference between being mean and being honest, noting that he and fellow contestants appreciated what former judge Simon Cowell brought to the table. While yes, Simon was often looking for ways to say things that would get attention, the 45-year-old continued. He was also giving advice that we could use. In fact, Clay recalled, when Simon and fellow former judges Paula Abdul and Randy Jackson gave a comment, he would take the feedback and apply it to the next week. We make ourselves better, he noted. And I think that if there is something that maybe the younger generations could use some of is some constructive feedback, because I think the goal of Idol is to make sure that every kid who is on it improves and becomes as successful as Kelly Clarkson and Ruben Studdard. That's only possible if you really get constructive feedback. You can't be told, oh, that's lovely. Every week, he added, you made it to the top 12 because you are a lovely singer. Now, how can you improve each week? Ruben and I would do that. That's what I'm saying. If Clay or Ruben do end up returning to Idol, it would come shortly after their departure from another singing competition series, The Masked Singer. The longtime friends were unmasked as the beats during the May 1 episode of the Fox show. As for why they believe Masked Singer and Idol have such strong fan bases, people really enjoy having a hand in helping someone else's dreams come true, Ruben, 45, said. And people at Idol do such a great job of pulling you into the young people's personal stories and backgrounds. Plus, it's a show you need to watch in real time to avoid spoilers. We're so used to binging TV now, Clay explained. It's very difficult to get folks to watch TV live. I think that's what makes this masked singer so brilliant, because it'd be ruined if it was spoiled for you. Right, you need to watch it live. Keep reading to see more stars who have been unmasked on the show this season. The Masked Singer airs Wednesdays at 8 slash 7C on Fox and catch up on Hulu, Fox. Come, to buy and on demand. The book was revealed as comedian Kevin Hart, who only competed on the premiere episode March 6 to prank pal Nick Cannon. Chrisley Knows Best star Savannah Chrisley was the first actual contestant sent home during the second week. Restaurateur Joe Bastianish said ciao to the competition after being revealed as spaghetti and meatballs. TV host Billy Bush entered the competition as a wild card during week four, but was abruptly eliminated. Cisco, singer of the 2000 mega-hit thong song, was unmasked as Lizard during week five. The Bachelor alum Colton Underwood was behind the Lovebird costume and was sent home during Transformers Week. Introduced as a wild card contestant during Week 6, retired football star Demarcus Ware was eliminated and unmasked as Koala. 
music icon Charlie Wilkin was behind the ugly sweater mask and was sent home during week seven's double elimination. The office alum Kate Flannery was unmasked as starfish during week seven's double elimination. As Miss Cleocatra, sister act star Jennifer Lewis made a triumphant return to the stage nearly two years after her heroine.